like a child who trusts his father dear and who delights to feel his presence near just like a child whose mind has not a doubt and whose heart is never proud here i come oh lord here i come just like a child here i come Just like a child, so weak he cannot stand, but to hold firm and tie his mother's hand. Just like a child who sings in bright delight, fearing not the long dark night. Here I come, O oh Lord. Here I come, just like a child. Here I come. This mass is offered for the souls of Sundar Raj, Mordshe of Bagara Mary, Nyana Prakash, offered by Selva Kumar family. For the souls of William Daniel Matthews, offered by Vichita Gandhi. For the soul of John Abraham, by Rosalind Sebastian. For the souls of Tangama Rani, uh, Tangama Sani, offered by <coughs> Alfie Johnson family. And uh, for the intentions of Legion of Mary English, for the soul of Philomena by Chelma, Thanksgiving on the birthday of Anne Mary Josie, uh, Joby, offered by Joby and family, for all the departed souls in the family of Poem Jeevan, <coughs> sorry, Prem Jeevan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials grant us your compassionate help, that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be trained no longer, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways, through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On that day, there shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord, he shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide disputes by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist, 
and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young god. And the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. In that day the root of Jesse, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples, of him shall the nations inquire, and his resting place shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Sam, your response shall be, In his days shall justice flourish and great peace forever. In his days shall justice flourish and great peace forever. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. Your response? In his days shall justice flourish and great peace forever. In his days shall justice flourish and great peace till the moon is no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the river to the bounds of the earth. Your response? In his days shall justice flourish and great peace forever. For he shall save the needy when they cry, the poor and those who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and the needy, and save the lives of the needy. Your response? In his days shall justice flourish and great peace forever. May his name endure forever, his name continue like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Your response? In his days shall justice flourish and great peace forever. Kindly stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise be the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise be the Lord. Behold, our Lord <coughs> shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Praise be the Lord. Praise be the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. The Lord be with you. <coughs> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to the disciples, he said privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings decide to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. <coughs> <coughs> the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. What has been revealed is a revelation. What has been told is the truth. What has happened is the fact. This is in regard to Jesus Christ, 
the fullest revelation of God here on earth as per our, the, our Bible, as per our faith, as per our credibility and belief. When he was revealed, eyes were not able to recognize that and he was the fullest revelation. So their eyes were completely blinded. Whereas there were few eyes who could recognize, who could hear, who could respond. And such eyes and such ears and mouths were of little kids or little children. Little kids not necessarily in the mind of the Lord, babies or infants, but those who are able to comprehend and understand. Such were people like shepherds, people like wise kings, and people like the simple people in the society. So Jesus, for example, in the gospel today, he says that, Blessed are your eyes because your eyes see. Blessed are your ears, they could hear me. And blessed are the spirit or mind that you could understand. So Jesus in the gospel makes it clear that there were majority of people who did not understand, who did not recognize, who did not accept the fullest revelation of God here on earth, namely the Messiah, but there were very few who were able to see. And Jesus also referred to the presence of the disciples. The disciples were there and they were very close to Jesus Christ. They were living with him. They were hearing him closely and they were ex experiencing him so closely. That's why he said, blessed are the eyes of these people. So two categories of people we can understand. One, the category belonging to shepherds, those who were able to see the baby Jesus in Bethlehem, a revelation of God. Those three kings who were able to come from far and see the baby Jesus and recognize that he was the Messiah. So these are the two categories that we could find. The other category is of the followers, namely the disciples or the twelve disciples. So putting them all together, what Jesus would mean that, Father, you concealed the revelation to the eyes of those who are with pride, those who are with um, self selfishness or uh, kind of a bossy type people or uh, self-centered people or who are very religious, who are very ritualistic, who are not so human. Namely, those Pharisees and those people, those kings, Pilate, um, Herod, the king, and all such people belonging to the higher hierarchy. Those people were not able to see Jesus Christ at all. Even Herod wanted to see Jesus, did not, Jesus did not appear to him. Even Pilate wanted to see him, Jesus was not coming over to him to appear before him. Whereas Jesus was always in the midst of the simple folks. Jesus was always in the simple people who were down to earth, sick, prostitutes, sinners, hard workers, laborers, children, women, widows and such people, even people like Zacchaeus or Simon the Pharisee, such people were wanting to see Jesus, therefore Jesus was able to be there with them. Finally, what is for you and me a message is, when we are able to see Jesus Christ in our life, then we live with him. We experiencing, we experience that Lord in our life day to day. In midst of struggles, in midst of pain, in, midst of, in the midst of uh, troubles, in the midst of uh, turmoil, in the midst of temptations, in the midst of uh, sickness, illness, or depression, frustration, disappointments, or any type of life in the world, when we are able to see Jesus, yes, He is with us, He is in front of us. 
let's all pray to the lord for a special grace to have his appearance in our life lord jesus christ you chose us by our baptism to experience you experience you to live with you to know you to speak to you to hear you often the worldly concerns blind us often the illness and sickness around us and within us blind us often the troubles from others blind us often the worries of the world blind us from recognizing you seeing you and having you in our life therefore lord send forth your spirit upon each one of us during this advent season that we may be able to see you experience you and have more joy in our life amen lift up your hands. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue, with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope and so with angels and archangels we praise you as we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
when we hear this Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your health is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter Machado, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants from the Raj, Mocha Bagara Mary, Jnana Prakash, William, Daniel Matthews, John Abraham, Tamda Masani, Philomena, all departed souls in the family of Remjeevan, the ones whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in their resurrection. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who are tied in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be cursed eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> Jesus taught us to call God our Father. We have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Come, Emmanuel, come to save your people.
the just judge will bestow a crown of righteousness on those who eagerly await his coming. 2 Timothy 4, 8. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold form to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Mary Joby, is she here? Okay, we pray for her as she celebrates her birthday today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he does. I will sing to my God, never ceasing. All my life I will tell of this wonder. He's the maker of all earth and heaven, of the ocean, the seas, and all their home. The Almighty is faithful forever. He is just to the poor and the outraged. It is He who gives bread to the hungry. Who delivers the captive from the chains? Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He does.